you, I think you'll see I've put out some uh, wristbands. And if you, I'd like you to all put one on, please. If you haven't got one down in, um, just pass it down if you don't mind. Once you put one, just put your hands in the air, just so we've all got one. Is that right? Excellent. That's brilliant. Right, you see. Um, you all know who I am and what my business is, but those who don't know me um, and what we do, can we please arrange one to one? Because today I'd like to focus on something I feel much more important. Um, I'm here to talk about the Indie Rose Trust and to spread the word. And I think after the, my 10 minutes, hopefully you guys are going to go out there and spread the word and help this trust raise as much money as we possibly can. Um, these wristbands that we've, we've all got, I've actually purchased them today. So uh, This is my donation this morning. Um, but what I'd like to ask of all you guys is if you could... Uh, put enough, it's a no obligation, I don't want anyone to feel under any pressure or anything to put anyone in, but I'd like to raise as much money as I, we possibly can. So anyone who's got any spare change, but preferably notes, um, <laughs> could you put, I'm going to pass this around and see what we can do. Um, these wristbands, after I've um, done my 10 minutes, I think you'll, you'll, you'll understand what it's all about, so I'll just pass that around there. Yeah. Um, so I'll put you all under pressure like that. Um, what is the Indy Rose Trust? And uh, where do you... Where did it start from? <coughs> Indy Rose Trust was opened in 2009 in the memory of um, some close friends of ours, Jane and Russell uh, Dobson, whose beautiful four-year-old daughter, Indy, <coughs> was taken from them in uh, June of 2009. Indy was uh, diagnosed in January of 2009 with um, <coughs> an, an operable brain tumour. Um, it was kept from all of us. I mean, she was really poorly, but obviously Jane Russell didn't really know the full extent until I think it was too late. So. Uh, they determined as a family to keep Indy's memory alive and uh, were actually blown away by her bravery and courage whilst going through the treatment, um, where they also had the pleasure of meeting other children and their families going through the same horrific uh, times. It was clear that this attitude of the, these children that kept the families going, so they have set their aims to create smiles and memories and offer a service below to all the families they've had the pleasure of helping. Indy Rose Trust create unique treasure boxes for children, offer a well-deserved break by the sea at Indy's Beach House Retreat and offer a one-off support grant to the uh, family at this difficult time. The treasure boxes are based on referrals sent from hospitals, social workers, medical professions and internet searches. Uh, they are wish boxes requested from the children whose life has been affected by a brain or spinal tumour. <coughs> the treasure box is unique and tailor made for each child. Each treasure box can cost up to £400. Um, they don't actually put a, a, an actual price tag, but that's how it's balanced out price wise. I mean, they've filled these boxes with, with all sorts of items iPads, uh, iPods, whatever. Um, and, I mean, they create the biggest smiles when smiles are needed more than anything else. Um, <clears throat> each tre um, the treatment is often harsh, and the child and family spend week in hospital, weeks in hospital with absolutely very little to look forward to. We've seen the smiles that these um, boxes create once delivered. Um, there's a testimonial on here as well. Um, we didn't tell Jamie about the treasure box. It was a complete surprise. We were totally blown away with the amount of thought that had gone into it. Each gift was individually wrapped, beautifully full of tissue paper and shiny sprinkles, making it even more magical. As a family, we were amazed and enjoyed, uh, and enjoyed seeing that huge smile. And to be honest, it made us realise that Jamie was still a little child, but unfortunately had been given his brain tumour, which somehow was stolen in his childhood. Thank you, Indy Rose. Your treasure box has made such a huge difference to our wonderful, brave boy. He loved everything, and the lovely card you sent... He reads over and over again. He's our superstar, and we can't thank you enough. <coughs> There's, um, I suppose you see the uh, uh, tissue plate on the on the um, tables there. You're probably going to need them later, so <laughs> you feel the uh, need to wipe tear away. <coughs> the message was uh, from a parent whose son James said he passed away from a terminal brain tumour, <coughs> but we made sure they shared a lovely moment together. This is now a happy memory for everyone. <clears throat> Over 450 children a year are diagnosed with brain and spinal tumours. 
and their ultimate goal is to reach all these children every year. They'd like to thank everyone that's helped us over the past four years, where together they've created 250 smiles and memories for these lovely children. Um, pretty powerful stuff. Brain tumour. What is a brain tumour? Ten children and young people are a week are diagnosed with a brain tumour. It may be difficult to recognise the early symptoms um, of brain tumour in children and young people. I mean, these are the toughest, most ardent people on the planet, these children. And they'll battle on, fight on through this uh, life-taking disease, really. And they just continue. Um, <clears throat> they have their lives taken away from it, such an earth. I mean, we've all lived our lives. And what we'd like to try and do is, for the rest of their lives, whatever they've got left, these boxes are there to just try and make it as enjoyable as possible. <coughs> um, what is a box? I mean, this is one of the boxes, and uh, they're, they're beautifully decorated. They're full up with all the kids, uh, the kids <coughs> and the ideas they're personally made for the actual children themselves, so they don't just fill them with any old rubbish. Um, <coughs> you could have a Liverpool supporter, they will get Liverpool items and bits and pieces filled in here. Uh, they'll get signed shirts, they, they, they touch the celebrities, you know, the celebrities. Uh, but what they need is you guys to spread the word. Uh, the more people that know about India Rose, uh, the more chance they have of potentially one day they'll overcome this dreadful, horrible disease. Um, the holiday home that they uh, provide is down in, uh, in Sussex. Sorry. And it needs a little bit of upkeep as well. This is where the fun part of the funding goes. Right, this is where the part of the funding goes. So the funding goes towards helping maintain um, the, the upkeep of the property. Now, I've, I've put down leaflets and information on your desks. Every week, I generally see leaflets left. I really urge everyone today to take these away with them. Read this uh, leaflet here. It explains, I mean... <clears throat> I want to, we won't turn any money away. Any, any donation that you guys can actually give would be fantastic. All we'd like you to do is reach out to all your contacts, friends, acquaintances, companies, and get them to, if they've got spare um, charity that they want to give out their money to, or have, have alongside on their, on their company websites and bits and pieces, please get in touch with Russell and Jane. They are the most amazing people. Um, their strength and how they have actually overcome their, their loss I cannot explain how they've done it. Um, and when you meet them, they fill the room, they fill the room with smiles, with their sheer courage and enthusiasm and joy and love. Um, in um, March, March 21st next year, myself and 17 friends and uh, colleagues and acquaintances are climbing Mount Kilimanjaro. Um, it's going to cost £1,600 each um, for each climber. Um, but we want we want to raise four and a half thousand pounds for each climber. That's our sort sort of aim. And to get that um, sort of figure, we need you to reach into all of your companies and all your contacts and spread the word. <clears throat> and let's do whatever we can as a group um, to raise money and spread the word. Really right. That's it. So I was Andy. Andy introduced me to Jane and Russell uh, earlier this year, didn't you? Um, 
unbelievable people and it, it's very very humbling we've all got businesses we've all got houses we're very very lucky and then when you meet someone who's done that i've got children as well it, it does touch her um i've already agreed to be a nominated charity this year for the shop so if anybody can come up with any ideas we can do as a challenge in the next four or four months for us as a company. Yeah, we've done the science. bearded barber, we've done that, didn't we? <laughs> there ain't got no chance of that deal. Um, <laughs> uh, stick, when we come up with an idea, we're racking our brains for something, maybe it's a sponsored haircutting day on one of your businesses. I don't mind coming in cutting hair for the donation or whatever, I don't know, but if you can come up with any ideas, talk to me and Andy, I'm willing to do something with the whole team, so we're ready to go on it. Okay? Well done, Andy, well done, mate. Yeah. 